Finally, a place to sit. Ah, oh, thank God. I was beginning to think I'd have to stand for the whole trip. Huh? Oh, hi there. What? I, were you here the entire time? I honestly thought there was no one in this row. You're so short, I almost didn't notice you. <laughs> I'm just playing. We have math class together, right? I'm Jay. You recognize me? So what? I don't care who was here first. This is like the only free seat in this whole bus. Well, besides near the popular kids. But I honestly don't feel like listening to them for the entire bus ride. The camp's almost three hours away. Honestly, I'd go insane with all their blabbering and giggling. Hehehe, <laughs> like, oh my god. Plus, I definitely want to avoid seeing Tyler and his new cheerleader girlfriend swapping spit. Ugh. But you, short stuff? Honestly, you don't take up much space on this bench, and judging by how you act, you won't chew my ear off. You barely speak in class. I think this is just wins all around for the both of us. Now, time for some music. What? No, I won't move. You don't own this bus, you know. Hey, what are you doing? Stop pushing my leg. Jeez, maybe I misjudged you. You really are annoying. I've got long legs. I can't help but take up so much space. Besides, not like you need it anyway. Look. Look here. Your knee? It barely reaches here. I bet your feet aren't even touching the floor right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, smarty pants. I won't put my legs in the aisle. Because if I know anything about these idiots, someone's going to trip over my feet. And with my track record, they'd probably assume I did it on purpose. Well... I did do that a couple times. <clears throat> but that's besides the point. One more incident this year and I'm done for. I'd get expelled and my dad would most likely kick me out of the house. No, thank you. I'd choose life. And now, if you could stop bothering me until we arrive, I'd appreciate that. Otherwise, I might have to make you stand in the aisle. And you don't want that, do you? Yeah. Right. I'll make you a deal, okay? I'll let you listen to my music and you stop being annoying if you can manage. Here's an earbud. Catch. Wow, okay. I see you. I didn't think you'd actually catch it. Whatever. Be quiet now, nerd. Of course it's royalty free. Everyone knows that's the edgiest type of music. Alright, let's see. Got the bow, two arrows, water bottle, phone. Oh, I guess I didn't ask for my earbud back. Where's that little nerd anyway? I haven't seen her since we got off the bus. Hope she didn't get eaten by a bear or something. Whatever, I'm sure I'll see her later. Now, I think I've stalled long enough for everyone to partner up and jackpot. I'm the only one left. Oh, thank God. I can finally be alone. No one to bother me while I pretend to do the stupid archery thing. Huh? What was that, Teach? I'm the only one left? Sorry. Oh my goodness. No way. I guess I'll just have to do it by myself. Huh? Behind me. What the? There's no one here. Oh, fuck. I didn't see you there, short stuff. 
Sorry, I kind of wasn't expecting to run into Tinkerbell. Is there no height requirement for this sort of thing? Someone could confuse you with a rabbit or something. Ugh, stop complaining and give me my earbud back. I was nice enough to let you borrow it for the bus ride, but don't think I'll let you have it for the whole trip. I saved up for them for half a year, and you better not tell me you lost it. Otherwise, you don't have it? What? Oh, yeah, I guess you would have put it in your backpack. But aren't you supposed to have that on you? What? You forgot your stuff at the cabin? Not quite? What's that supposed to mean? Stop. Uh, you just better give it back by tonight, got it? I'll need it before curfew. I've got stuff to listen to. My favorite ASM artist. Now, I hope that settles it. I've got some arrows to shoot. Later, short stuff. Why are you following me? No, can't you partner up with someone else? I kind of wanted to do this by myself. So if you'd kindly... Alright, alright, I get it. Mr. Control Freak told you to group with me. Stop bickering. He's looking in our direction. I think I told you what will happen if I get in trouble again. And if you're to blame, I won't let you forget it. <clears throat> so, you don't have your bag, but you have your bow, right? All right, let's go then. Try to keep up with me, short legs. Let's take a left here. I'm well aware the sign points the other way, smarty pants, but I don't feel like waiting for targets to open up all day. It's gonna take forever. Do you really think anyone in our class will hit anything even remotely related to a target? No. They'll be searching for their arrows somewhere in the bushes. Let's just hang out somewhere else instead, and then we'll get back to camp. It'll be like we never left the trail. Besides, the sign says there's a stream over there along this path. I don't know about you, but I think it'd be pretty cool to just chill, relax. It's way too fucking hot today. Oh, come on. No one's going to find out. It's a freaking forest. They're not going to know. We can split up. If the teachers see you by yourself, they'll know I skipped this stupid activity. Now move before I drag you with me. Besides, why are you acting like a goody two-shoes all of a sudden? I don't remember seeing you at all since we arrived at the camp, so why the sudden interest? I didn't see you at assembly, not at lunch, not even at the weird art activity. I thought you'd like that kind of stuff. I see you draw in class all the time. So what? It's kind of hard to miss it. You're sitting right next to me, since Miss Rodriguez made me swap seats. I know you're trying to be all secretive about your doodles, but... It's not really working. It's honestly kind of cute. Nah, but seriously, where were you? Oh, come on. You were embarrassed, short stuff? Did you sneak off to make out with your crush? All lovey-dovey and shit? And then why would you be embarrassed? You can tell me. I promise I won't say anything. I'm not the gossipy kind. Hmm. A buff blonde dude. Do you mean Tyler? Was he bothering you or something? Uh-huh. So, like, right after we got off the bus, right? You did what? Oh my god, this is pure gold. I can't believe you'd call him out like that right in front of the cheerleaders. I didn't think you'd have it any short stuff. I'm impressed. Maybe we'll get along after all. That's pretty badass. Surprised yourself, huh? Yeah. I didn't think you were usually that confident. You know, spur of the moment kind of deal, wasn't it? But that doesn't explain where you were all day. The whole time? Can't believe Tyler's boys wouldn't let go of it. I didn't think those idiots could remember anything longer than an hour. They actually took your stuff? Oh, so they got my earbud. <sighs> this just got personal. Now it's not just between you and them. 
I just hope they didn't throw everything into a puddle yet. Mm, how the fuck am I going to get my stuff back now? I could beat them up so easily, but then I'd get in trouble. But they started the whole thing. No, school doesn't care about that. Ah, uh, no. Short stuff. Don't apologize. You couldn't see this coming. You and me, we're on the same team now. But now that we've got someone their own size to deal with, to think they'd go after someone like you, it actually pisses me off, makes my blood boil. Hmm? No, I meant nothing by that, really. Just someone like you. You know, a short little nerd. Well, what I mean by that is, like, someone whose brain is their strength rather than their muscles, like me. But I guess Tyler No Brains and his gang of mindless idiots don't see being smart as something admirable. But I do. I guess. I think you're kind of cool. You don't care what people think about your grades or your worth clothes. No offense. We're very different, you and me. But at the same time... We're both weirdos. I'm the big grumpy guy that sits at the back of the class just minding my own business. Well, as long as Miss Rodriguez doesn't come into play. And you're a cute little nerd at the front of class with perfect attendance who'd secretly rather be an artist than study. I really like that about you. Oh, come on. Now you're just trying to flatter me. Are you trying to say you're into guys like me? Is this to get me to help you with your backpack? Because I don't need to be bribed, you know. Shh. You hear that? That didn't sound like a rat or something. Not to freak you out or anything, but I kind of don't want to run into any larger animals right now. Where's that coming from? Whoa, watch out! Ugh. Fucking hell. Tyler! What are you doing? Can't you see there's people here? Look before you shoot, dumbass. Stop laughing, you idiots. You could have fucking killed us. I'll mess you up, man. I'll make you regret this. I'll... No. Breathe, Jay. Breathe. It's not worth it. Oh. Hey, short stuff. Are you okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. Before these dumbasses get any other smart ideas. Let's go somewhere where we can sit down, all right? It's fine. They're cowards. They ran away. Fucking idiots. I don't think any of them actually got decent aim. They could have actually hit us. I was too damn close. You're right. They get away with a lot. But to actually risk serious injury? They're even more stupid than I thought. Are you sure you're okay, short stuff? You don't look like you are. You're shaking pretty badly. Wait, did I hit you? Where? I cut your shirt. And underneath. Oh, just a little scratch. Thank God it's nothing worse. You scared me there for a second. Thought you were seriously hurt or something. Hey, hey, shh. You're okay, short stuff. Don't cry. You'll be fine. Fuck them. Do you want me to hug you or? Ah, okay. There you go. It's all good now. I know it's scary. I got scared too, to be honest. I'm sorry I grabbed you like that, by the way. I had no time to think and I just reacted. If I hadn't, I don't even want to know what might have happened. I'm sorry if I scared you. I swear I'll teach those guys a lesson. They've been overstepping for quite a while now, but this? I promise you short stuff. You'll never have to deal with them again. No, oh, come here. Let me wipe your tears. There you go. Look, short stuff. We already made it to the stream. Did you see that big rock over there? It looks like the perfect place to sit and enjoy the water. 
Let's just take a rest. You're still trembling a bit. You could hold on to my arm if you'd like. There's quite a lot of roots here. Make sure you don't trip. Watch out for that step. There you go. Alright, sit down here. Still a bit shaky, huh? Oh, you poor thing. You want me to put my arm around you? Yeah, it's no problem. There's no need to thank me, Shorty. Of course I saved you from a freaking arrow. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh, for this? You mean for calming you down? It's no big deal. I needed this myself, to be honest. When they started laughing about it, it was like absolute dumbasses. It made me so mad. But beating them up right then and there would have only caused more trouble for the both of us. I wouldn't want you to get involved in that. Besides, with crazy like them, it's way too dangerous. I mean, you know me. I get into a lot of fights, but um, they usually don't include an arrow. I'm more of a fist fight type of guy. <laughs> Look, I know it's hard, but just try to forget about those idiots for now. I'll deal with them later. I'll get your stuff back and I'll make sure they don't bother you again. I just have to figure out a way that doesn't get me expelled. Oh, and if you ever feel like having to go at Robin Hood again, just come to me afterwards. He'll stay away if he knows what's good for him. Also, tell me beforehand next time. I need front row seats to that kind of show. Short Stuff versus Tyler. Woo! Big fight of the century. Once in a lifetime experience, you know? Tickets like that will sell fast. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you if you never did it again. By the way, how's your arm? Does it still hurt? <sighs> Need me to kiss it to make it better. Ow, you got quite the arm. No need to punch me, I'm kidding. I'd rather kiss you somewhere else anyway. What? Nah, short stuff. I didn't say anything important. Don't worry about it. Now, um, we're already at this stream, so we may as well get some use out of it, right? Even though it's a little less impressive than I would have hoped for. Come on, take off your shoes. Oh, it'll be fine, trust me, short stuff. I'll get in first. Ah, nice and cool. Look, it barely goes up to my ankles. I don't know what that means for you, though, Tinkerbell. You might get your hair wet. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Come on, get in. Grab my hand. I'll help you. Careful, though. The ground's kind of slippery. Feels good, right? Whoa, I got you. I told you it's slippery. Careful where you step. Hold on to me if you need to. Hmm, got your clothes a bit wet, huh? We should probably get out then, so you can dry before we head back. The sun should take care of you rather quickly. Come on, shorty. There you are, short stuff. I didn't think you'd actually show up. <laughs> Oh, nah, I don't think you're a coward or anything. It just, well, doesn't seem like you're a fan of breaking the rules is all. Then again, we're not about to do anything illegal. We're just breaking and entering and stealing our stuff back. So really, it's not that big of a deal. Ugh, of course, I still need your help. Even if it's not that big of a deal. Do you think I'll just run into Tyler's cabin without any planning? Hell no. This needs to be thought out. I don't want to get caught. Not by Tyler, not by his squad, and especially not by the teachers. You know what they'll say. Jay, you know you're not supposed to be in here. That's five years of detention. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's why I need you. So, here's my plan. I stand and watch by the door. Yeah, you following? You sneak into the cabin. Yeah? And grab your backpack. 
while I will watch and I'll let you know if someone's coming. Yes, you. Do you seriously think I'll do all the hard work by myself? Listen, I already came up with a plan, and I made sure to set up a distraction. One of the kids from PE still owes me a favor. I'll make sure these idiots don't come back here for the next couple of minutes. Speaking of which, we should probably get going. I don't know how much time we have. Oh, come on, nerd. It'll be fine, trust me. They didn't even lock the door, see? So really, they were asking for this. Now get in there, shorty, and make sure my earbud's still in your bag. Psst, you find anything yet? Oh no, you're good, nobody's coming, but I'd hurry it up if I were you. Oh hell yeah, did you get it? Hey, what are you doing? Isn't that your backpack? Why are you still looking for something? Oh shit, I think someone's coming, come on, let's leave. There's no time to keep searching, let's just go. Come on, shorty. Over here, over here. We can hide around the corner. Here, duck down. They can't see us through these bushes. Let's just wait until they're inside. I don't want to celebrate too soon, but... Guess what? Fucking did it! I'd high five you if that wasn't so noisy. <laughs> sure, a very soft one could work. Here, high five. Nice one. Do you have my earbud? Oh, good, thank you. Hey, let me ask you something. What were you looking for earlier? Did they take anything else? Oh, I am so sorry, Tinkerbell. I didn't know your sketchbook was in your bag as well. Are you sure it's not in there? Oh, I am sorry. That sucks. I can only guess how many hours you must have put into that thing. I'll tell you what. I'll try to come up with a way to get it back, alright? I don't really know how, though, but... Tyler has it. He'll probably not just leave it out in the open. Especially once he finds out the backpack is missing. Speaking of which, we should probably get going before they notice. I think it's clear. Just to be sure, though, we should go this way. That way nobody sees us. We'll circle back once we're a good bit away. Relax. I've got a pretty good sense of direction, you know. I can find my way back no problem. And if you'd like to as well, I'd suggest you keep up with me. <laughs> Unless your tiny little legs are tired. You need me to carry you. Ow, jeez, stop hitting me already, will you? You like doing that. I'd like to put some distance between us and the cabin before Tyler comes around. He's already had enough of a chance to hurt you yesterday. There's no need for him to beat us up. Or, um, try to, I guess. You know, I could handle him, no doubt there. I might even enjoy it a little, honestly. Nah, short stuff, don't worry about it. I'll stay out of trouble. Even though I'd love to teach those guys a lesson. Ugh, seriously. Why does it have to rain now? Did we just turn back? I don't feel like getting soaked. But then Tyler might see us. Ah, oh, fuck it. No choice but to power through. Let's go, shorty. What are you doing? I don't think now is the time to look for your sketchbook again. We can deal with it later, okay? Huh? You have an umbrella? Oh, by God, short stuff. You are amazing. Come on now, open it up. Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, you look so funny holding it up so far. It's kind of cute. Here, let me. I'll hold it. There's no need to strain yourself. Besides, I don't want you to poke my eyes out with that thing. You're still out in the rain, silly. Come a bit closer. The umbrella isn't the biggest. Oh, you're turning all red. What? Never been this close to a guy like me before. Sorry, sorry, geez. Stay here. Would you really rather get wet than walk next to me? Right. Thought so. You know, I thought about what we should do. 
now that we've got our stuff back. Like, obviously they'll notice it's missing and assume you took it back. So I don't think it'd help to hide your backpack or anything. But I definitely think you should try to stay away from Tyler's squad for at least the rest of the trip. That'd probably be... Hey, why are you back there? Oh. Oh. I am so sorry, short stuff. I didn't realize I was walking so fast. Um, uh, here, uh, hold on to my sleeve if you'd like. That should slow me down a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry again. You're kind of soaked. What is it with you and getting your clothes wet when you hang out with me, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm only teasing, but as I was saying earlier, stay away from Tyler. And if he bothers you, come straight to me. He wouldn't dare piss me off again. At least not without using it to his advantage. Best he could do is shoot an arrow from far away and then run like a coward. Hey, no, of course I'll still help you. What? Did you really think I only stuck around just to get my shit back? No. We already spend so much time sitting next to each other in class, we may as well get to know each other, right? Besides, any enemy of Tyler's is a friend of mine. I don't know if you heard, but Tyler's the reason I have to avoid even the slightest amount of trouble. I think I even used to be friends with that guy. It's crazy how fast people fucking change. Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, you probably wouldn't know this. Him and I, we were really close in middle school. We hung out almost every day until he suddenly changed his mind about me. I'm not really sure what happened, but by the time high school came around, we barely spoke anymore. He was too caught up licking the popular kid's boots and chatting up any girl who'd give him the chance. Don't be sorry, Tinkerbell. I wouldn't want to be friends with him anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's never been a saint and obviously neither have I, but the way he's been treating people recently? Ugh, it's just disgusting. No thanks. He's been acting out for a long time now. I usually try to ignore it. It's better not to get involved if it doesn't concern me, you know? But about two weeks ago, I overheard his boys talking about how Tyler's gonna pull a pranker on someone who I'd rather see unharmed. So I found him. I tried to talk to him about it. Uh, well, long story short, we got into a fight. I won, obviously. But Tyler's dad caught wind of it and wasn't too happy I fucked up his little angel's face like that. He threatened to call the cops and now I have to be real careful who I decide to mess with. I just hope today won't be the day I get accused of some bullshit again. The one time I actually do a good thing. Oh, no, Tinkerbell, you're not gonna take the blame for this. It'll be fine. There's no way I'd let you claim my plan is your idea. I mean, do you know how long I spent thinking about that one? <laughs> nah, but for real, I don't know what consequences there'd be if the teachers found out you broke into a boy's cabin. Just let this be my problem. As long as Tyler doesn't catch me by surprise and can't make it seem like I beat him up again, I'm sure we'll both be fine. How would they even prove to the teachers we were in there? They're not going to tell them they took your bag in the first place, and nothing else is missing. It'll be fine. Ugh, I just wish the floor wasn't so muddy. I didn't think the rain was heavy enough to turn the whole forest into a big swamp. It'll take forever to clean these damn shoes. Oh, jeez. I've got you, Tinkerbell. No worries. What is it with you and almost falling, huh? Do you get such weak knees around me? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't push me. I don't want to fall either. If I get all muddy, I'll make sure you'll need a change of clothes as well. For real though, you're clumsy. It's almost a little sweet. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think this path would be so steep, and with all this goop, I don't know if we'll make it out here unscathed. Yeah, you're right. It'd probably be best to just wait it out. I'll tell you what. Let's stay where we are for a little. And if the rain hasn't stopped in five minutes, we'll turn back around. Sound good? Alright. 
As long as there's no thunder, we should be good. I must step closer, Shorty. We're wet enough, as is. There's no need to get rained on even more. <laughs> it's so cute how far you have to lift your head up to look at me. What? Nothing to say. No snarky comment. Not even trying to hit me. Oh, ouch. I guess I shouldn't have pointed that one out, huh? I got it. What? You're still hung up on that? You know, I kind of had to make you go in. I don't even know what your bag looked like. Though, I probably could have guessed now that I see it. It does look like that belongs to a nerd. <laughs> Whatever. You got the more entertaining part of the job. I just had to wait for you to get done. So really, you should be thanking me. In fact, I think I'd like a reward. No, oh, I did warn you just at the right time, didn't I? I also came up with the plan and I made sure we were hidden. Come on, Tinkerbell. Not even a little one. Oh, um, I was thinking maybe something like this. <laughs> you know, I could get used to this. Hey, Tinkerbell. There you are. I was starting to think you'd hide in your little cabin all day. What? Are you too embarrassed to see me again after yesterday or something? I mean, not to brag, but I am a pretty good kisser. <laughs> Ouch. Gee, Tink. No need to be punching me in the ribs like that. It's not like anyone's around to hear me anyway. You're the last to get here. The others have already started that trail quite a while ago. Of course I waited. I came up with an excuse and everything. There's no way I'm just going to let you walk around all by yourself. I wouldn't want you to run into any of those idiots. If they've noticed your stuff's gone, they're pissed for sure. Nah, not taking that risk. If they want to mess with someone, it better be me. I know how to handle a fight. But, you know, while we're here all alone, no one around, whole campsite to ourselves. Do you want another taste, Shorty? <laughs> oh, it's okay, got it, not here then. Aw, look at you, blushing all over. Not gonna lie, it kinda suits you. Getting flustered by the memories. The heavy rain, standing so close to me, trying to fit underneath the umbrella. Feeling my warm skin against yours in the cold wind as you lean against my chest. Thinking about it now, you're probably the romantic type, huh? Well, too bad, you almost landed face first in the mud right after. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I promise not to mention it, I know. Your shocked face was just too funny, though. You should be glad I caught you short stuff. If I'm your personal bodyguard for much longer, maybe I should start charging a fee. Seriously, though, I think we should get started on this hiking thing. You really took your sweet time. I think they're taking attendance at the end or something. I, I honestly don't know. I only half listened if I'm being completely honest. I don't really feel like walking the entire trail. That's like what? Three hours? And all just because they want us to walk around that big ass lake? <laughs> nah, shorty. We're taking a shortcut. I'm serious. Look. It's not like we're gonna go off the path. We're just gonna take a different one. Come on. You know I won't change my mind on this. Let's get going already. I didn't disappoint last time, did I? I led you back to your cabin perfectly on time for curfew, despite the rain and all. 
I told you, my navigation skills are top notch. My dad used to take me hiking all the time. I know how to memorize directions pretty well. Though, I gotta admit, I'd have gladly missed curfew in exchange for making out some more. Chill, Tink. I'm joking, joking. I know you're not the type to be late or break the rules. I bet you wouldn't know what to do if you ever got into the slightest bit of trouble with the teachers. Probably say some shit like, Oh, I swear, this was totally not my fault. They dragged me into it. He took a meanie. <laughs> nah, Tink. That is exactly what you sound like. I promise. Damn, why are you trying to push me, nerd? Just so you know, I barely felt a thing. You're so small, it's like a fly tried to hit me. Okay, okay, I get it. I might start pushing you if you don't quit acting like a brat. <laughs> oh, you don't believe me? Here, watch. Yeah, you didn't expect I'd actually do it, huh? Well, lucky for you, I went easy on you. You see these arm short stuff? These big guns? I could pick you up, no problem. Throw you right into the lake if I wanted to. You should be glad I'm so nice. <laughs> hey, no need to push so hard all of a sudden. You wanna fight or something? Cause I'll let you know right now, you do not stand a chance. Right, right. Yeah, no, I mean, you're right. Of course, you'd beat my ass, clearly. I mean, who who wouldn't have known that, right? No problem. Yep. Yep, in fact, let's see about that, then. Nah, I'm serious. Come on. Show me your best punch, Tink. Seriously? <laughs> what was that? Are you scared you'll hurt me or something? Come on, short stuff. I'm not that fragile. Just do it properly. I mean, why not? If anything, it might help you against Tyler if I'm not around, so might as well, right? Not that I didn't want to help you, but let's just say, you know, my attendance doesn't really measure up to yours. But you said you wanted to fight, so let's do it. And I promise, I will hold back like... 99.9% .9 of my power? <laughs> that should do the trick. Yeah, no shit, shorty. I kind of noticed that you've got no clue what you're doing. Alright, alright, stop. Let me give you a couple pointers then. First of all, you're standing all wrong. If your opponent won't knock you over, the wind will. Okay, let's fix that. Right here. Put your right leg back a bit, like this. Yeah, looking better already. But, uh, do me a favor, shorty. When you make a fist, do it like this instead, see? Keep your thumb out. Don't tuck it in. I don't want you to break all your fingers. That usually ends a fight pretty quickly. Especially not in your favor. And then, when your fist is ready, you swing like this. Got it? Okay. Now hold your arm up like this. A little bit higher. You want to be able to block my punches. I told you, I'm not actually going to hit you. Who do you think I am? Anyway, try again. Put some force behind you this time. Hell yeah, short stuff. Now we're getting somewhere. Do it again. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You are much better at this than I thought, actually. I'm serious, Tink. You're totally not horrible at this. With some practice, you might even get good. Not that, you know, you're ever going to get better than me, obviously, but, you know, don't even try that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe teaching you how to throw a punch was a mistake. If I'm all bruised by the end of this trip, you're the one that's going to explain it to my dad. He'll think I started a fight again. Oh, um, by the way. <laughs> gotcha. See, I still got it. Uh, short stuff? Why are you backing away like that? Did I hit you too hard? Wait, wait, watch out. There's a... You okay, Tink? That looked... 
painful. Shit. Did you cut your leg on that rock? It's bleeding a bit. Hey, don't freak out. It's okay. It's okay. Can I take a look? I'll be careful, I promise. Alright, hold on. It doesn't look too bad. Thank God. It'll be fine. Fuck. Shorty, I am so sorry. Seriously. I didn't mean for you to trip like that. Did I hit you too hard or like... I swear I was just playing, I didn't know. Startled? Huh? Hmm, I assume Tyler's done that to you before then. One of his friends. I'm sorry, Tinkerbell. I didn't mean to bring back bad memories. I was trying my best to forget about those fucking idiots for the day. Actually. No, for real. I feel bad about it. I didn't mean to scare you. But I'll make it up to you, alright? Not sure how, but I'll come up with something. I could carry your books. Maybe buy you lunch or whatever. Not like a date, though. I mean, not that I don't want to, but... I wouldn't have asked right now. Asking someone out should be, you know, romantic and shit. I can't just ask that right after you fell on your ass. It has to be under a nice cherry tree or... At the stream, maybe. Anyway, it's not important right now. What is important is that you feel alright, Tink. Hey, I do not have a soft side. I'm just being sincere for once, and this is how you reward me. Questioning my personality. <laughs> alright, I see how it is. I'll remember that. Couldn't have hurt that bad then if you're giving me that attitude already. Glad to see you're not mad at me, though. Do you think you could do the rest of the trail? I'm honestly tempted to just turn around and go straight back to camp. You know, I bet if we show the teachers your horrific injuries, maybe, you know, you play a little limp up a little bit, we could get away with just chilling for the rest of the day. Damn, Tink. Even when you got a prime excuse to skip a pouring ass hike, you still want to do it. Come on, tell me, what are you scared of? If they'll believe anyone, it's you. Ugh, whatever, we'll decide later. We've got to wait for the bleeding to fully stop anyway before we can keep walking. Wouldn't want to make it worse by rushing it. I mean, technically, I could carry you. No, I'm serious. How about I just give you a little, you know, piggyback ride, huh? Let you take a look at the world from my perspective. A non-short point of view. Now that would be life-changing. <laughs> Come on, Tink, it'll be fun. No one's gonna see, and even if they do, what's wrong with that? You're hurt. I might be an ass, but even I wouldn't leave someone sitting in the dirt. It's only good manners, really. Believe it or not, I can carry you, no problem. Can't win as many fights as I do without working out. Did that convince you? Hell yeah, let's do this. I'll help you get up. Hop on, Shorty. Ready whenever you are. There we go. Don't be shy. Put your arms around my neck. I wouldn't want you to fall. Tell me, Tinkerbell. How does it feel being so far up? Pretty awesome, huh? I'm glad you like it. Cause it might take your mind off the fact that I just tricked you. Now that I've picked you up, you know we are going wherever I want. And that means we're heading straight back to camp, baby. Let's go. Nuh uh. Uh uh. Not budging. Sorry, short stuff, but I've decided. So unless you want to walk the whole trail by yourself with a hurt leg, you'll act as my ticket to an afternoon off. Just enjoy the ride, Tinkerbell.